Morning, folks. Time for your Memorial Day weekend movie quiz. Match the first part of the title with the number that best fits it. Iron Man, Booger Man, Star Trek, The Hangover, Fast and Furious, and Before Midnight. And now the numbers. Six, three, Roman numeral three, 12, another three. Okay, well, there's no Booger Man. The boss is on vacation and I'm being juvenile. Iron Man is the three, of course, and has already made a billion dollars. My name is Tony Stark and I'm not afraid of you. I like it because there's less Iron Man, meaning fewer shots of the computer-generated robot with inserts of Robert Downey Jr.'s little head. It's Star Trek number 12, but doesn't actually use a number. It's Star Trek Into Darkness. Only you could take the one from the 12 because it's the second with the baby-faced versions of the old guys. We're obviously getting into the higher math. Such action violates the prime directive. Shut up, Spock. We're trying to save you, damn it. Three left. The Hangover has a Roman numeral three because it's the classiest. Not really. That's the joke. The movie is terrible, but I admire its integrity. It doesn't even try to be funny. People get killed, and worse, animals get killed, and no one pretends it's not a cynical effort to squeeze more money out of a one-joke idea. However, Ken Jeong, as the lunatic pansexual mastermind Mr. Chow, I believe I can fly, is kind of awesome. Now the good stuff. Fast and Furious 6 is a blast. Really, don't turn up your nose. Vin Diesel and his surrogate family of outlaws are now searching for his heretofore presumed dead ex-squeeze Michelle Rodriguez, this time in partnership with Dwayne Johnson, whose biceps are bigger than my head. Director Justin Lin loves cars, enough to make them look as if they're subject to the laws of gravity rather than the algorithms of computer programmers. The reckless driving is touched by grace. <laughs> In limited release, there's Richard Linklater's Before Midnight, the third film starring Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy as kindred souls who met and made it on a train in Before Sunrise, fell out of touch, and reunited in Before Sunset, and have now been together long enough to lament the loss of magic and get on each other's nerves. Okay, why can't you just say no, yes? No, no, I did, I no, said no, no. of course. I, I wanted was... you to say something romantic and you blew uh, uh, okay, it, okay? okay? It's a triumph of naturalism. You watch their conversations zig and zag in long single takes and almost believe they're thinking up the lines as they go along. See, I'm <laughs> well, trying to on, truly connect and you make a joke. <laughs> Where else can a shot of two people talking feel this full? It's the one movie around that doesn't seem by the numbers.